AITA for taking up two desks? My wife is pregnant. Because we need two extra room in the house I've had to give up my office which was in our spare bedroom. Which was really frustrating because I work from home. My wife and I have been working hard to turn our garage into a large office space. I've gone from having room for one desk to being able to set up a second desk as well. My wife asked to use the desk and I initially agreed but I said I'd see what happens. However since moving my office into the garage I've noticed that the second desk could benefit me. With my work, I can have a third workstation set up for various aspects of my job. So I set up my third workstation at that desk. My wife got angry at me and said why was I using the desk. I explained that I could use that space to make my life easier with work and the garage is supposed to be my office space. At this my wife flipped out. She said that she has no space at all in the house. She said that I'm always so consumed with my office space that she ends up with no space to do her thing. She said did I just expect the kitchen was her space or something because that's all she ever seems to end up with. She said she was sick of feeling like a guest in our house and that I was being an asshole because I always get an office space and she gets nothing. The garage is large enough for us both and it's ridiculous that every house we move into I end up taking up more and more space with my office. I don't need five monitors set up. I don't need three computers set up. I just want it because I'm being selfish. She took our kids left the house, went to her friend's house and now won't answer her phone. AITA? Edited to add. A lot of my work involves monitoring servers and programming. This third workstation means I can monitor my systems more effectively. I am the main income earner of the house. My wife works part-time but her work has her leave the house. It's not like I'm using it to goof around and have fun. Or participate in hobbies. I'm literally using it to work. Info. Does your wife have any space that's all her own? Okay so I dk how much of an ah versus not thing this is. Your wife is clearly communicating a need here. She's telling you that she feels like she doesn't have any space that's hers in your house and she wants that desk to be her space. Of course you could use that desk to make your life easier. More space would make everyone's life better. But your wife is telling you that she needs this. Whether or not you're willing to listen is up to you. But if you ignore what she is saying here. Yes you'd be ta. YTA. You're a tool simply for agreeing to letting her use the desk and then revoking it. You said she has been working hard with you to convert the whole garage. Don't you think that means she should have a desk? Selfish asshole. Sure you're the main breadwinner but clearly she's the main caretaker. Cause she took the kids. Okay I work from home as the primary income provider and I am female so I feel qualified to speak here. What I think the real issue is here is that he makes decisions about the house and his workspace. Without consulting her. He took a desk that he told her she could have and then just appropriated it whoa asking or discussing. Working from home is difficult bc you are now taking up space that doesn't just belong to you even. Though it is easy to feel entitled to it. She's also lost space in the house and she pregnant rn so probably also feeling like she's lost. Space in her own body. TLDR. If you need space for work just talk to her about it first think about her and how it will affect her. You know if you need it for work she's not going to tell you no. Also, if you need the space for monitoring systems just use the vertical space. There are other options. YTA wife continually explains an ongoing issue to you. You. I'll think about it. No you get nothing wife pissed cause she's married to a selfish awe you shocked pikachu face this about sums it up yta my dude 
My sister WFH at a very important job that I can't ever remember her title for. I basically call her Chandler Bing. All I know is she's the director of something something for a very well-known software developer. And she makes more money in a single year than I'll probably ever make in my lifetime. Why is this important? Because she also has a home office. And she has four computers that uses on a daily basis. And they're all on the same desk. She has enough space in her office for like five desks. But she keeps everything on a single desk for close access using nifty little risers for each. Laptop or monitor. Stop M-A-N-S-P-R-E-A-D-I-N-G in your garage. Op and leave some space for your wife said that I'm always so consumed with my office space that she ends up with no space to do her thing. YTA and a big one. Dude, are you dense? This is a bigger issue than just a desk. Time to split the garage in half. She said she was sick of feeling like a guest in our house and that I was being an asshole because I always get an office space and she gets nothing. The garage is large enough for us both and it's ridiculous that every house we move into I end up taking up more and more space with my office. I don't need five monitors set up. I don't need three computers set up. I just want it because I'm being selfish. Is Op actually the wife because this is a pretty sound argument in her favor. Always blown away when guys have the easiest problem make the dumbest choice and then can't realize they are in awe yta is a third desk the hill you want to die on if the space is that large can't you step up and reconfigure it to keep your desks and still set something up for her dude she literally walked out of the house with your kids and you come here not knowing how to compromise somehow being the breadwinner are you dismissing her need for some space Cause truth is, you can't find a compromise you might end up with all the space alone. YTA YTA why don't you buy her? Her own desk? I get that you're the breadwinner, the one who works from home. But there are many things people with or without traditional jobs that are done on computers. The reason you're ta, is because you told her she could use a desk and then took it. Buy another desk for her. Find a space for her. Info. So what space does your wife have to herself? Maybe it's time for you to rent an office space in a building. This way problem solved and some can go for pretty cheap. Still think YTA though. Info. What did your wife want to use that extra desk for? And is there room for yet another desk to be added? I just read this post again. Twice and I do believe I'm being punked. Ain't NFW a grown human married man who has procreated? More than once. Is this F-R-E-G-G-I-N dense? I'm the awe for falling for this ish. Y-T-A. You are taking all the space for yourself and not considering her at all. Women so often get erased and designated as mother. No more time and space for hobbies. Nothing for themselves. Do better. Info. I initially agreed but I said I'd see what happens. So which is it? Did you agree she'd get the desk? Or did you say you'd see what happens? YTA for your poor communication skills. I think it's fine that you need more space. But telling your wife she can have it. Then going and purposefully taking over without talking about it. That would upset anyone. YTA stop having kids if you don't even have enough space. You told your wife she'd get space too. Instead of letting her have it. You reneged in favor of a third workspace. Not even just a second. Does your wife get any space in the home? YTA my dude. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, 
share, and subscribe.